victims of insomnia that lasted years, what made it finally stop, I had to face it head on. My racing thoughts, worry and stress were slowly killing me. I found tools and tricks to help with each symptom. I never worry about the future anymore when I'm trying to fall asleep too many variables so I think of a pleasant memory from my past. I take two Tylenol PM about one hour before I want to be asleep. I never exercise or break a sweat within three hours of wanting to fall asleep. I nap if I'm tired, my body tells me if it's appropriate. But you will need to find your own way to obtain deep restful sleep. Kitty a peen Seroquel for years but only on weekends because it made it too hard to really function. Most recently I use a weird mindfulness practice of imagining the racing thoughts as tangible things I could place onto leaves as they went down the stream. So not outright ignoring whatever keeps springing to mind, but not dwelling. Sometimes I try to imagine being on a swing that goes back and forth as I breath in and out and try to get slower and deeper breaths or just thinking random words with no discernible pattern. I had insomnia for as long as I could remember, definitely since early elementary school. It took me hours to fall asleep every single night. On the really bad nights, I'd only get an hour or two of sleep. I had my second child at 30, and literally since the day I gave birth to him. I haven't had one night of insomnia that baby turns 5 in a few weeks and it's been the best thing ever. I'm thankful every day that it takes me like 5-10 minutes to fall asleep. I never imagined I'd be one of those people I always envied. I was young when I had consistent, years-long insomnia. The thing that kept me up most nights was obsessive, intrusive thoughts and anxieties. Eventually, honestly, it just got old. I was so tired of caring. I started what I called partitioning my brain, and turning off those thoughts because they were exhausting. Now I know that this practice isn't exactly healthy, but it worked. And I started sleeping like a normal kid and my parents stopped wondering what was wrong with me. I have insomnia when I'm stressed and anxious or angry. I will have to take a break from whatever makes me stressed, anxious or angry. I feel like exercising helps. Then I put on a lullaby. Oh and I notice that I sleep better when I'm clean. But when you are depressed you do not take care of yourself so it's like a vicious cycle. It takes a lot of motivation to do that and I will just force myself. Sometimes it works sometimes my depression gets the best of me. I finally mastered 8 9 hours a night for the first time in my life I frequently go 3 days no sleep so there's no telling how long this will last but hopefully it helps someone. I take magnesium a few hours before bed and then at the same time every night some form of CBN. Melatonin with valerian root this is essential in a sleep is dive and hydramine these each take about 45 minutes to kick and so taking them all at once gives me the perfect sleep. Switching to cotton bedding. I threw out any all microfiber, polyester blend sheets and replaced them with 100 cotton. Doesn't even have to be expensive, any thread count will do so long as it's 100 cotton. Since polyester is plastic it would stick to my body ever so slightly and I had to be constantly moving around in order to keep my skin cool. All the tossing and turning kept me up at night. Cotton breathes, switch to cotton. It looks like everyone is a little different than me. I had insomnia for a very long time. As long as I can remember. I used to cry going to school because of how little sleep I got. Then, based on a reddit thread, I bought a cervical pillow. I have never slept better. Much less frequent headaches as well. I actually get a full night's sleep now. It's been about 6 months, so we'll see if it lasts. Sleep routine. I have a very particular set of things I do before I hop into bed I rarely use bed for things other than sleep fucking. After I'm in bed I relax my body, particularly the muscles in my face. I notice that my jaw would be clenching and relaxing the face helps me fall asleep faster. My only problem now is awaking during the night. But I can fall asleep rather quickly now. Did a sleep study and it turned out I actually had restless leg. It's where you have these micro movements that aren't necessarily enough to notice but they can disrupt your sleep pretty significantly. I take medication for that now which works a lot better than the extended release ambient I was given before but the insomnia still can be bad at times. But I chalk up to anxiety p. Biphasic sleep, sleeping under red orange lights, using a weighted blanket heat a blanket all year and having a work from home job that's compatible with an inconsistent sleep schedule. It turns out that trying to maintain good sleep hygiene consistent schedule, 8 hours every night, cool dark room, avoiding the bed except for sleep actually wrecks my sleep. Weighted blanket and eating better. Most recently gratitude journal. The food I ate was poisoned to me and kept me up. Mostly it was preservatives and oils. 
it caused inflammation which caused anxiety and no rest. I also put on a show I've watched before often something not exciting enough to keep me up but stimulating enough to drown out the anxiety. It helps. Generic Daxilamine succinate over the counter from Costco plus l -theanine, and sometimes magnesium seem to help me. Also, reducing sugar intake and exercise help, as does eating a small amount before going to bed. When I used to wake up in the middle of the night, I would do a few minutes of plank pose, and that also seemed to help. Good luck, it hasn't stopped but I can get control of it. Definitely need to practice good sleep hygiene. No phones 45 minutes before bed, dark cold bedroom that is mainly for sleeping. I have been falling asleep to podcasts, something to distract my thoughts. Also weed sometimes, but definitely not all the time. Not sure, but here I am at 12.30am and think I'm wide awake. But I think if I just laid down, in my bedroom, in my bed I would be asleep. I am missing that take my ass to bed situation I guess. And I love sleep. I miss sleep. I think that the only problem I have is that I don't search sleep meds. I'm on quetiapine fumarate seroquel for sleep and buspirone for anxiety. I'm out cold about an hour after I take it. My brain can actually function again. I have to make sure I can get at least 8 hours when I take it though or I won't be able to wake up. It's such a game changer. Mate suffered from it for years and he was in a horrific car crash. T-boned. Multiple broken bones but not oddly enough not any head trauma of any kind. After that he sleeps like a baby apparently. Jokes out if he'd known it would happen he'd have rolled his car years ago. My insomnia has been going on for 25 years now. I currently take 5 mg alprazolam before bed to maybe get 6 hours of sleep if I'm lucky. I think my brain has lost the connection between tiredness exhaustion and sleepiness. Ridiculously, one day it just did. I have no explanation for that. I had insomnia pretty much from birth to 30-ish, then went through a phase of sleepwalking, and since then I've rarely had any trouble. I'm 52 now. My father had delayed sleep phase disorder. RDSPD. Suffered badly with insomnia for 40 years until he retired and realized he slept fine but simply much later at night and into the morning. Up in the middle of the night ready this when I should have been asleep 4 hours ago. I will say magnesium has seemed to help but WTF do I know after the first part of my response. It never stops. I suffer from the type where it usually takes me a very long time to fall asleep. I am very envious of people who are sound asleep minutes after getting in bed. Money. The more knowledge I gained, the more I understood my situation, the more I loved myself, the harder I worked, I got more sleep. I had to literally rock myself to sleep. It hasn't stopped but I thought I had insomnia when I really have a circadian rhythm that's different than most people and that's a sleep disorder called DSPD or DSPS. Reading the book The Sleep School from Guy Meadows. I still have bad nights but that book helped a lot. Basically instead of doing CBT you do ACT therapy. Diagnosed with mild insomnia, it runs in my family. I was prescribed mirtazapine and it knocks me out. A godsend except for when I can barely wake up. 300 mg of trizadone before bed. Works most nights. The dreams are often horrific and terrifying. But, you know, sleep is sleep. I work graveyard shift. For some reason I sleep fine in the daytime, just not at night. I was an owl in my last life. Sleep With Me podcast it's a talking podcast where his voice relaxes you to sleep. Insomnia broke into the wrong mofo's bedroom and was met with three slugs to the chest. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and seroquel and Lamic will make me sleep. Psychotic break. Ever since, I have been sleeping 10-14 hours a night. I got a desk job. Now instead of no sleep I have no soul. Woman shrugging.